The biological grandmother of five-year-old Landon Maliberti, Kathy Scheffler, is heartbroken after the loss of her grandson. She says her son died 15 years ago. Now this. It didn't have to be like this. He was a, he was a sweet little boy. He didn't have to die. He didn't have to die. I, I just want justice. I want justice. Landon's adoptive parents, Lauren Maliberti and her husband, Jacob Maliberti, are now facing criminal homicide charges. They're accused of killing Landon Maliberti. I just want to know why. Why? Why did it have to come to this? I would have, I would have been there. You would have taken him? Absolutely a heartbeat. That little boy was the love of my life. It's hard to believe. It's... I just can't believe he went through all that. And he didn't have to. He didn't have to go through this. According to a criminal complaint, the little boy suffered severe abuse, including three separate brain bleeds, blunt force trauma, and bruising on his entire body. Back in January, Landon became unconscious and was taken to the hospital from his Delmont home on East Pittsburgh Street. He died one week later. He had multiple episodes of physical abuse in combination with at least two types of emotional maltreatment. His injuries caused substantial pain at the time they were inflicted with impairment of function, including inability to stand, inability to eat or drink, and loss of consciousness. I was just shocked. Because they had a number of kids there, you know. Lauren and Jacob Maliberti organized a GoFundMe to raise money for Landon's funeral. Now, the criminal complaint shows that Jacob Maliberti worked as a correctional officer at SCI Fayette. Now, we also know that the parents had five other children in their care, but officials won't say where those children are now.